Inquisition, Don Alhambra del Bolero, the Grand Inquisitor of Spain. It was his distinction who so thoughtfully abstracted your infant husband and brought him here to Venice. So this is the Senorita who is so unexpectedly called upon to assume the functions of royalty. And a very nice Senorita, too. Jimp, isn't she? Oh, distinctly Jimp. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear, naughty terrible. You must make some allowance. Her Majesty's uh, head is a little turned by her recent rise to royalty. I could have wished that Her Majesty's sudden rise to royalty had turned her head in this direction. Unfortunately, if I am not mistaken, there appears to be some little doubt as to his majesty's whereabouts. A doubt as to his whereabouts? Then we may yet be safe. A doubt? Oh, dear, no. No doubt at all. He is here in Venice, flying the marvelous but picturesque calling of a gondolier. I can give you his address. I see him every day. In the entire annals of our history. There is absolutely no circumstance so entirely free from all manner of doubt of any kind whatever. Listen, and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> And I brought him here and left him gaily crapping With a highly respectable gondolier Who promised the royal bed to rear And teach him the trade of a time a mere With his own beloved prattling Both of the babes were strong and stout You could see in revolving clever But that there is no manner of doubt No probable possible shadow And doubt, no possible doubt whatever No possible doubt whatever but owing I'm much disposed to fear to his terrible taste for tickling, that highly respectable gondolier could never declare with a mind sincere which of the two was his offspring dear, and which the royal stripling. The taste for drink combined with gout and double him up forever. Of that there is no manner of doubt, no probable possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever, no possible doubt whatever. Time's head, and when at the end of a year I sought that infant cherished, that highly respectable gondolier was lying a corpse on his humble fear. I brought the grand inquisitor's fear that gondolier had perished, which was which he could never make out, despite his best endeavor. Of that there is no man of doubt, no probable possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever, no possible doubt whatever. The children followed his old career, the statement can't be carried of a highly respectable gondolier, where well, one of the two will soon be here. But which of the two, it is not quite clear, is the royal prince you marry, Sir James and out and round about, and you'll discover never a tale so free from every doubt, a probable possible shadow of doubt, a possible doubt for them.